You guys had to have known I would do a video on a fishing update. To get notified of all new videos when they drop, and to help support the channel, smash that sub button and click the bell icon. What's up everyone, Taki here, and today we're going to go over the new deep sea fishing update. In the description box you will find timestamps for everything I cover in this guide, so feel free to skip around. This update introduced new fish and new ways to catch existing fish. Let's dive in. To get started, head over to Guma in the fishing guild and select travel. Now the first thing available to you is going to be magnetic minnows. You are going to need a sizable portion of these to be able to make bait for the higher level tiered fish that you can also catch right next to these docks. The fish is stackable so you don't have to worry about banking too often and the spot's not going to move that much. The fish heals 100 each and when you right click it you have the option of making three different types of bait. The XP per hour on this spot is going to be anywhere between 60 to over 100k depending on what you have. I almost have best in slot gear for fishing and I was getting somewhere around 110k but I don't know how sustainable that is depending on how lucky I get with catches. Fishing at Magnetic Minnow seems to have a fairly high chance of getting XP boosting items such as messages in a bottle and broken fishing rods. You can store these in the bank or you can hold on to them. When you get the promised ring in your inventory, you can talk to the NPC in the crow's nest and he will take it from you for an achievement. Next up we have sea turtles, great white sharks, and manta rays. And I'm grouping all of these together because they are fished in the exact same manner. Once you have 300 minnows or you buy the bait off of the GE, you make it into the bait that you need and then you put it inside this fishing spot. Once you activate the fishing spot, you will see all of the fish in the four corners around you and then you will be able to fish at least 50 fish from this fishing spot. The XP for these fish are around 100k per hour but you can only do this for the time that you have bait so if you are funding this yourself or you're an iron man you're realistically not going to be able to get that xp rate nor would you really want to because there are better fishing options inside this place next up are the jellyfish and these guys have a mechanic that is shared between the two different types so i'm going to go over both of them together when you get here you will see that some of the jellyfish are electrified now you're going to want to prioritize catching the electrified jellyfish because they will give you a higher catch rate but they come with a debuff that when it gets to 10 stacks, you will be stunned for 10 seconds. Now you can clear this by quickly switching to a different jellyfish that is not electrified and then going back to the electrified one. If you don't do this, you will be stunned for 10 seconds and you'll have to wait until the timer is up to be able to fish again. The XP for blue and green jellyfish is between 100 and 120k XP per hour depending on how lucky you get with electrified jellyfish spawns. My second favorite part of this update is the swarm fishing area and you can find this in the southern tip of the deep sea fishing area. The best thing about this is it works in the same way that the ZMI altar does. You can get fish around your level so if you're let's say 80 you can get fish that are tiers above 80. If you're 99 you're going to get the best tier fish so you'll be catching a lot of blue jellyfish, sailfish, and rocktail. The XP per hour is going to fluctuate drastically here depending on what auras you're using, what outfits you have, but you can kind of expect between 60 to 120k depending on your level. This is a very nice aspect of this update because it's super AFK. The bank deposit box is directly north of this spot so you can quickly run there and come back and you're going to make a lot of profit off of the fish that you're going to be catching, especially when you catch the blue fish. The crown jewel of this update has to be Fishing Frenzy. Now you can take part in this when you have 94 fishing, but don't worry, you won't be 94 for long. The XP per hour at this place is ridiculous. There's only one mechanic that you have to look out for. You have to be able to catch fish consecutively to increase your bonus XP modifier. This goes up to a max of 20%, and you will get that after catching 200 consecutive fish. The best way to do this that I found is to put on your game sounds. There is a sound that your fishing rod will make that I'll play on screen now. When you hear this sound, you are going to want to immediately click on a different fishing spot. This will make it so that way you won't lose your stack. Now you can easily lose your modifier by being AFK for even two seconds or if you accidentally click somewhere on the dock, so that's kind of unfortunate. But when you get to that 20% modifier, you're going to want to hold on to that. The best experience that you're going to get from this is going to be north of 320k experience, assuming that you're level 99 and you've got all of the bonuses available to you. 
The last thing that you're going to want to look out for while you're fishing here are the calm fish pools. When you see one of these, you'll notice it because it's a lighter white than the rest of the pools. This pool will allow you to AFK here for a considerable amount of time, which is very nice, and a nice break from the monotony of continuously clicking over and over again. The only thing that's bad about this is it doesn't increase your frenzy streak, but you will have around 10 to 15 seconds of not having to worry about clicking on fish for any period of time. And the final tier fish is sailfish. Sailfish can be caught in the northeastern corner of the deep sea fishing area. And you're going to want to prioritize the swift fishing spots over the normal one so that way you have an increased catch rate. Beyond that, there isn't really much to say about this. The XP is around what everything else is, but the money per hour is considerably less than things like blue jellyfish. If you're concerned about XP or profit, you're going to want to steer clear of sailfish. Now the last thing to go over are the random events that happen in the center of the deep sea fishing area. These will happen every once in a while and you are going to want to take part in these depending on what you're doing. I wouldn't leave a really high fish frenzy streak to do this because it's not going to be really worth your time. But you will get a 30 minute fishing buff if you take part in this activity when it goes off. That's it for this one. If it helped you, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, talk you out.